Hello Scorpio, welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, at Valve 3 Tarot, which is review as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I felt that one. I felt I felt that energy before I even flipped it over. Um, wow. Okay. Well, I'll get to, I'll get to that message. I will. Um, but jumping into this, what you do show me right away here, Scorpio, you're showing me that you actually are quite abundant, quite successful. You have quite a bit of financial security here, which is nice because you're ultimately saying I'm, I'm pretty okay for now. I'm choosing kind of wait and see where things kind of lead and where things go. Now, that being said, you, you're, you're kind of showing this energy of all eyes forward, all eyes forward for now. Um, overall, with this perspective and this mindset, clearly you want to move forward. And I kind of feel like maybe that's what you're waiting on is moving forward or kind of getting some sort of movement here going. But overall, I do see that you're waiting. You have the mindset and perspective. You're, it's fascinating, though, because I feel like during this waiting period, that's where everything is kind of taking place. Um, it's an energy of waiting to move forward, waiting to move forward waiting for something to move <laughs> um and i feel like all that energy is there but it almost seems like it's being how do i say this like compacted and kind of like um condensed not condensed in the sense of like it's losing anything more so condensed in the sense of it's becoming more and more kind of how do i say this like some sort of energy or tension is building up that you're having to kind of work with and kind of figure out like okay um, what's going on? What is going on? And so you're really sitting with this, sitting with this and trying to fill out what you want to do, what the next step or action is going to be. And in the meantime, here's where the emotions and the thoughts begin to kind of race a little bit. There is a little bit of a search here towards something that may be familiar or comfortable to you, maybe about something you used to do, maybe someone, but overall there is a little bit of comparison here. Whatever it is you're remembering and thinking about with where things are currently now, there is quite a bit of, how do I say this? It's not necessarily heartbreak and pain, pain, but it's an energy of <laughs> something there. It's, it's almost like something really deeply hurts, but you're kind of choosing to kind of push it aside and not fully 100% deal with it or acknowledge it for the sake of trying to kind of feel something out and figure something out for yourself. You got, you got your reasons. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers and see what we can find. Something regarding the difference between the past and how things used to be, or how maybe how things used to be done, and how things are now. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, then, <laughs> geez, okay. There's an energy here of, I'm not too sure if this is what you're actually waiting on, but I kind of feel like it is. I feel like you're waiting for more financial security and abundance to come in. I really do. But I also kind of feel like you're also deciding, like, is something worth giving to or is something not worth giving to? Do I invest my time and my energy in this or even my focus in this or don't I? A little bit undecided. You're, you're, I'm not going to say you're being stingy. Um, you're, just, you're just wanting to be smart with what you invest in. Yeah, it's, it's the waiting period. It's the waiting period and the waiting process that's really beginning to kind of mess with you here a little bit. Um, 
that that makes sense. That makes sense. It's, it's almost like is something going to re have a positive result, um, or will it not? Will something work out, or will it not? It's it's a little causing a little bit of confusion here. But you're still like I said, you're still working through it. But one way or another, you're kind of like, well, maybe it's part of it. <laughs> yeah, the mind. Gee, the mind is giving you something today. <laughs> The mind is almost like, um, I, I almost feel like you, Scorpio, you're, you're trying to get something done and accomplish it. It's like, you're just trying to simply wait for some sort of result or outcome. And it's like, your mind is like, but this, but that, but this, but that. <laughs> it's almost like it energetically feels like your mind is interrupting your own mind. That's what I'm kind of sensing here. I don't mean to make a joke or fun of this because I'm not. It's just an energy of, I understand how the mind works and those thoughts sometimes are uncontrollable and they'll kind of enter and it's like what i didn't even i wasn't even thinking about anything where'd that come from especially when you're kind of like eyes forward on the lookout for something that you definitely want and desire and it's like okay i ordered that package two minutes ago i checked the shipping a minute ago <laughs> it's like where is it? is it did it go through is it okay is it still there what's going to happen Yeah, 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 and that makes sense as to why you're not really truly rushing or doing anything quite sporadic or reckless. It's because you have so much responsibility to take care of as is. And that's why you're like, well, let me really sit with this and figure out how to kind of process everything before I just move forward and take care of everything. Um, I almost feel like there is this energy of something, you might be waiting on something for the sake of something else to kind of move forward, which again, it goes back to the finances. Yeah, you're, you, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I thought. You have, it's like you have these moments where you have ideas that cross your mind. Um, but at the same time, you're kind of like, but there's that comparison between how things used to be, or how things used to go, or how I used to do things. There's that, there's that comparison. You're like, well, I have ideas, but you can't help but keep looking over your shoulder at where you've been. Yeah. And that's where that comparison is. It's like, well comparison there it is but what i like about this is you're actually utilizing the past in your memories and your experience to move forward and also make those changes along the way with it it's like well I've, I've been here i've done that let me try and figure out if i can come up with something different here for myself okay okay now, here's the thing. You you are showing me you and someone. At the same time, there is no connection. There is no relationship. There is no collaborative energy between the two of you. There's a history or a past between the two of you. But it almost feels like, yes, there is a history and there is a past between the two of you. But ultimately, there also is this heartbreak that's not being fully acknowledged or addressed between the two of you as well. That's what's very fascinating. It's like an energy of... Well, um, here we are. Here we are. Now what? For some, not all. Um, I definitely see that this overall this pain, this pressure, and this difficulty is kind of adding more pressure on you to kind of figure out like, okay, I, I know I got to get up and I know I got to do something. Um, it's a little bit difficult to kind of plant your feet on solid ground, especially with whatever these changes are that you're having to make. Yeah, but you, you feel like there could be something here. You could be like, there, there, there's something here that I feel like you are trying to fill out. Jeez, um, it, it definitely feels like you're wanting to give all this emotional energy and investment to something, possibly someone. I'm not going to say that exactly right away, uh, but more so to something. I don't know what this is, but you're ultimately saying it, it, it could be something that I'm pretty happy and okay with, but we'll see. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles on top of the deck, yeah, I believe so. It's about work and career and finances. Goodbye.